We are slowly approaching to the end of machining the first part and we will prepare one more simple but in my opinion important operation which is chamfering. We will first define the tool. We can define this tool as a 90 degree cone angle drill and use this tool for machining contours or define this tool as a tapper cutter. OK. Select Define tool from the machine tab. Select the flat end. Enter 14 as a tool number. Enter 14 as offset number. For length enter 40. And for diameter enter 16. And now select the tapper as the special option. And enter 45 for the tapper angle. It means the tip angle of the tool will be 90 degrees. And as the end diameter you can leave 0. Set the spindle speed to 3000 and feed rate to 300. OK, add the simple holder, length 60 and diameter 40. OK, and save this tool as a chamfer. OK. Now let's choose this tool. And chamfering will be added by contouring. So select rough or finish operation. In the types tab, select vertical and selected. In the general tab, select tool center. And in the levels and cuts tab, save rapid level set to 25, rapid down to 5 material top 0 and final depth minus 3. We want the tool to mill apart slightly above the top. And now, to determine the chamfer dimension, we must use the stock to be left parameter. If the chamfer angle is from the tool, the chamfer size is specified in the stock to be left field. And if you want the chamfer 0.5, then Enter here minus 0.5. Okay, let's add some lead in and lead out. Set the line length and the arc radius to 0 0.1. Okay, and copy these parameters from lead out. Okay and click OK and select the geometries. OK and here. OK and accept the selection and let's check how it looks like. OK we have a helical meaning of chamfers We can edit this. Let's edit the operation. Let's uncheck this option and click OK. 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 Let's run solid simulation of all operations. Okay. 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 I forgot to add external 
contour to this operation and in the next lesson I will show you how to add geometry to the existing operation.